Well, hello, folks. Welcome to another little fix-it adventure from Newest LLC. That would be we. This time we had uh, two computers, uh, two of our computers here, doing some strange things. So we named this little adventure our Hot 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 Computer Fixes. Actually, it's a single fix for two different computers. Lately, my old machine here sitting on the desk right next to me, um, not under the desk, but... Uh, right on the desk. Uh, my old computer running Vista. Yes, we still have one running Vista. So even while it was doing the tiniest little task, the uh, CPU fan would be running up. You know, I said, why in the world is this doing this? Because it's right next to my ear and it's, uh, you know, making enough noise that I'm noticing it all the time. So it has been up with a vengeance, even though there really wasn't much going on. Not to say we don't do a whole lot of stuff here, but uh, you know, on occasion, there'll be not much going on. And uh, unfortunately, we found the same thing happening on one of our newer machines. Uh, my old Vista machine still works. It actually works pretty well now after we did this fix, but uh, it is running Vista after all. Um, but the other machine's running uh, 7 or 8 or 10. Uh, depends on how we set it up. Uh, that was doing the, kind of the same kind of thing. It was, you know, spinning up the CPU fans and it was doing weird flaky things just like mine was you know I mean even when we weren't messing with the mouse it was doing stuff it was uh, just weird so that gave us a mystery to solve how could you have two computers doing weird things and CPU fans running up um, you know was there like poltergeist running between them or I don't, I don't know so uh, we had to do a little investigation now, for the techies out there, and no doubt some of you are, there's a number of free tools, absolutely free, that, that can display your computer health, but of course you've got to be techie enough to know, one, where to go get them, and two, how to use them, and then three, how to interpret the information that uh, you get from using them. Well, I'm uh, only a semi-tech, uh, sometimes no tech at all. Um, I just wanted something like a simple wiggle test, you know, but uh, my compatriot in crime, in fact, said, yes, we're using these right here, and he did, and discovered that, in fact, the CPUs on both machines were running hot, which indicated, once again, maybe the fans are crapping out or something like that, so, but I said, no, let's do a wiggle test, uh, so, we did it on my old machine first, but, um, we didn't think to take photos at the time. So this is the new machine. The old machine was uh, actually easier to get the fan out of here because it used to use some screws. But this one here has a, a little different uh, arrangement, which is why I'll show you a couple of, of uh, pictures of this. You have to put a screwdriver in here and give it a quarter turn, and then the thing kind of pulls up a little bit. This little um, shaft, it's really a shaft, uh, comes up just a little bit. There's four of them right there. Also, um, a, uh, a plug. Uh, for the uh, CPU uh, fan power right here. So you need to uh, undo that and take these a quarter turn. And then the whole thing will lift up out of here, but it certainly didn't feel that way when we first tried it. Here's a close-up of the screwdriver. You do a quarter turn counterclockwise, you know, on all four of these little dudes. And then you should be able to lift this right out of there, but when we started pulling it up, it didn't feel like it wanted to go. And the reason was these little pins right here, which I'll show you a close-up in just a second. So we pull this out, and on the bottom here, because this is the part that goes down inside the computer, there's this uh, kind of copper-looking thing, and this is supposed to touch onto the top of the CPU chip right here and transfer the heat from the chip to this part, which then transfers it to these fins. And then, of course, then you got the fan blowing air across this thing. So that's the cooling mechanism. And depending on the temperature of the chip, it will turn on the fans and, you know, cool the thing down if it's working correctly. Um, so once again, a little bit more information because this is not intuitive. When you start pulling this thing up out here, it doesn't really want to go. So these four tabs right here, these four little pins, go down into holes in the motherboard. I'll show you in just a second a picture of that. And here's a close-up of it. And this is why it seems like this doesn't want to come out of here after you've done this little quarter turn and you pull the little uh, quarter turn piece up. What that does is it pulls a pin down out of this, or in fact, when it's right side up, it'll pull it out, up. And if you can see the photo here, you'll see that this is like a split uh, arrowhead here. 
So this part right here rests on the top of the motherboard and this pokes through the hole in the motherboard and then when you push down on the quarter turn device that will push this pin in here which spreads these two things apart very much like a molly bolt that uh, used to hang pictures in the wall and that will lock this thing in place so when you pull the this uh, uh, center uh, pin here out it lets this release but it doesn't release all the way so this little edge will catch a little bit on the bottom of the motherboard and that's why it feels like this doesn't want to come out of here but in fact it does so just be uh, aware of that if you have this particular type here's the four holes in the motherboard right here that those things go down into and then of course after you got it set in you push the pin with the quarter turn down in which locks the thing and then you turn the uh, quarter turn to lock that pin so that it can't accidentally come out. Sounds complicated, I don't know, but it's it's not. So here's the uh, CPU right here, and we'd already cleaned this off when I took the picture, but there was gunk all over this thing, you know, kind of dried looking gunk. So you have to clean this off, and we used uh, just alcohol with um, uh, coffee filters because they don't have any uh, lint. So. Right, so you got to remove the old compound, just kind of clean it off there, because there was gunk all over this, of course, too. Right, so you use the coffee filter and a little bit of the alcohol and just clean all the old gunk off of both the, um, the heat sink and the uh, CPU itself. And then you have to get some of this. Uh, you know, I read a whole bunch of different uh, things about stuff that people use, you know, like mayonnaise, and, oh, just ridiculous stuff, you know, hey, how about a little uh, pipe joint compound? No, uh, get the real stuff, and there's a, a lot of different kinds of these compounds. This thermal compound we got from Radio Shack has no uh, metal in it, and apparently some of them have metal in it that's uh, supposed to do a better heat transfer. I don't think that's a good idea because uh, if you put too much on, when you put the heat sink back down, it squishes out and you could end up with metal uh, compound kind of dripping down into some of your circuit board. That doesn't sound like it would be a good idea. So we got this stuff. It's a tiny little syringe. It's not really very big. Uh, a couple bucks. I think it was six or eight bucks, something like that. Um, so you put a little nurdle of that. That's a technical term. Nurdle. Uh, I just drew this in here because I didn't have a nurdle picture. So you put a little blob of that stuff on there. And here's the tricky part is uh, you should put enough on, but not too much. Well, how much is that? Well, you kind of got to guess because when you put the heat sink back down on here, it's going to squish this stuff out. So if you put too much on, it's going to squish out all over the place. If you don't put enough on, well, then you won't get enough good contact. Because what this is really supposed to do is uh, fill in the irregularities between the bottom of the heat sink and the top of the CPU right here. So a little nurdle right there. And then you can put the assembly back down uh, here again. And once, once again, it, it's hard to see what's going on in here because you're looking down in here and you're just kind of by feel making those uh, split pins go down into the holes, the four holes, making sure that you uh, get this in the right orientation too, of course, so you can get the um, uh, power plug back on for the fan. So you uh, get those down in there and you finally can get it seated. Now once you put this on here, because you got the goop between the uh, bottom of the heat sink and the top of the CPU, don't pull it back out because if you pull it back up, you'll break that uh, kind of the suction or the seal between these two pieces and then you'd have to pull it all the way back out, clean it off, put a new nurdle back on, you know. So once you put this down on here, you can wiggle it a little bit to get this centered, but uh, don't be lifting it back up. At least we didn't, because that's the way I was envisioning it. So if I pull this up at all, I'm going to have to take it all the way out and redo the whole nurdle thing. So then you push these pins down in there, and that spreads the uh, split pins underneath the uh, motherboard, and then give it this quarter turn to lock it so those can't be pulled back up again. So it's pretty simple once you, once you do it. It's kind of like brain surgery, I suppose. No, I really doubt that it is like that, because uh, you probably don't push and turn. I don't know, I've never done brain surgery, nor have I ever played one on, no, that's not right. So you put that back in there, and uh, of course close everything up and give it a shot. Making sure you put your power back on, of course. Otherwise the fan won't run. Um, so you put the whole thing back together, and guess what? Ours works great. The fans don't run up, the um, 
little programs that let you watch the uh, temperatures are telling us we're in the green. We're no longer cooking eggs. And uh, it, neither one of the computers are doing weird things unless we uh, make them do weird things. So there you go. It's a real simple fix. So if your computer's jumping all over the place and doing weird things and uh, the fans are running all the time, it's a good chance you need to reset the um, uh, the goop stuff. Clean off the goop and put new goop in there so you get a good heat transfer. That way the fans won't run all the time. 10-4, Roger Rubber Ducky, over and out.